Hello. Today I thought I'd introduce you to the four books written by Andrew Kaufman, a Canadian writer born in 1968. Uh, I came across him coincidentally in a bookshop, which is the nice way I think to find books on the whole. And I recommend all his books, so I thought it was a good one to uh, showcast. The first book I would like to introduce to you was my first and my favourite that I read. Uh, called All My Friends Are Superheroes and unfortunately I don't have it in physical copy because I lent it to my boyfriend who in turn passed it on to what felt like everyone he knew um, which is a sign that the book is really cute and great and uh, you want to share it with everyone but it also means that we've totally lost track of where it should be by now. Um, All My Friends Are Superheroes is about a guy called Tom and his girlfriend called The Perfectionist, and Tom is the only one in his circle of friends without superpowers. Um, his girlfriend, The Perfectionist, wants everything to be perfect, and everything is perfect, and he's just average Tom. And she gets hypnotised by her ex-boyfriend, Hypno, to think that Tom is invisible, and he has to figure out a way how she will get to see him again. It's a really cute love story really. It's very short, there's different vignettes about the different people in Tom's life and what their superpowers are. And they're ordinary people really. Um, it's, it's not a spin on the X-Men or anything. You might be the perfectionist or someone you might know may be Hypno really and that makes it so fun and relatable. Um, it's really short as well. And the reason why it was such a hit with so many people that my boyfriend knows is because uh, he's Dutch and he passed it on to lots of Dutch people and it's a really easy read and a fun read and it's not too easy or anything like that. I find sometimes when you're an adult and you want to read foreign books, you don't want to really want to read kids books or anything like that, so that was a great one for many many people who knew. And then I went on to read The Tiny Wife, which is very similar. It's also very short in scope. I think it's around 100 pages. Um, and again, I gifted this to my boyfriend and I don't know where it is now. So maybe I should stop getting him books. Um, the Tiny Wife is about 13 people who get robbed by a very flamboyant robber in a bank. And instead of money or jewelry, he steals the one most sentimental object currently in their pos possession and after they give that away strange things start happening to them. Uh, amongst those 13 people is a woman called Stacy who is the, the namesake of the book The Tiny Wife because every day after the robbery she shrinks a little bit more. It's very similar to All My Friends Are Superheroes because again it's down to Stacy and her husband to to figure out a way to reverse her shrinking or or find out why she's shrinking or come to terms with that she's shrinking so again there's this love story at the core with a really fun idea and although it's totally surreal and all the things that happen in there you could you could coin them magical realism or fantasy or um, comedy they're all exaggerations of things that happen to you and me in everyday life. The Tiny Wife was also great. I personally could relate to the love story more and all my friends are superheroes, partly because in The Tiny Wife the, the couple has feels a bit older, they're in a point of life that I am just not at, but also a great one and I think a great gift again, if I don't so so myself, for a uh, loved one. Then there were two other Andrew Kaufman books which are actually full-size novels. So if you would call the first two uh, novellas, I guess, or, or short, long short stories or something like that, the other two that I read were uh, full-size novels. One I actually have in physical form, Born Weird, which is about the Weird family, five siblings who upon their birth are all bestowed with blessings by their grandmother, uh, a mixture of blessings and curses. The main character, if you would have to choose, is Angie, one of the siblings who instantly forgives everything. She has a, another sister who never gets lost, she has a brother who never gets in danger, she has a brother who wins every fight, 
Um, and what is the else is the... Oh, and the final sister who never loses hope. She was not the most impactful for me. And it's a road trip family story about these five siblings who have to reunite to visit the grandmother who blessed cursed them on her dying bed because they she promises them that she will lift the blessing. Um, and these siblings have become estranged and they have become estranged to their parents and it turns into this wacky road trip amongst these five siblings getting to, to find out what happened in each other's lives. And again, these blessings or curses are explained and turn out to mean something that everyone can relate to. So Angie, who instantly forgives everything, even though Andrew Kaufman writes the story to the extreme, I know people who forgive things that I would never forgive, and I know people who hold a grudge forever. And it, and it would be possible to write a story about these people exaggerating on the characteristics that they hold anyway. And then the final book, The Waterproof Bible, I read on my Kindle. And it, Waterproof Bible is probably the most difficult to describe what the actual storyline is. On the forefront is a woman called Rebecca, I believe, who since her birth hasn't been able to keep her emotions in. She always broadcasts her emotions so everyone knows how she feels. And at the beginning of the book, her sister dies and it's about her dealing with the loss of her sister and how she sort of spirals out of control, not wanting to feel her strong emotions anymore. It's about her husband, who she hasn't seen in years, who she loves very much though. It's about her late sister's husband, who tries to deal with the grief of losing his wife he never really took good care of. Um, he meets a woman who introduces herself as God, and it's about a woman called Aberys With or something like that, who is a human amphibian hybrid of a group of people who live under the water, and she becomes unwatered trying to find her mother, and the waterproof Bible is interspersed with her sections. All a bit weird, maybe a bit too weird for some. Again, I thought Rebecca's story of broadcasting her emotions was very much in tune with the other three books about normal human tendencies being amplified. Um, but obviously the sort of amphibian creature hybrid is a bit out there. So Born Weird was published in 2012, so it's been a while since he's published something. Apparently Andrew Kaufman works uh, for a radio show um, or ch radio channel, which makes me a bit worried that he won't write again, but who knows, he's still young. I strongly recommend all four of these books. Start with the shortest, because you don't have to invest that much time. And once you've invested that time, you'll want to check out the, the longer books. If you've read any of them, let me know which one was your favourite. Or if you've read any of them, tell me why you hate them. Maybe that happens. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll try to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Um, Can you hear that? My dog's in the background. The reason why I can't get anything done.